Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell, and today we're going to talk about how to install threading building blocks on Linux. I've got here uh, Linux Mint, which is a Debian version of Linux, so we can use the apt-get packager. Let's do sudo apt-get install, and we type libtbb-dev. and that will go ahead and install it and now let's go ahead and create a test program to try it out okay now that we have threading building blocks installed let's try it out I've got some code here that I put together earlier that uses threading building blocks this does a reduction a parallel reduction to calculate calculate the values of pi um, it uses the Leibniz formula which is a series that converges to one quarter of pi and the farther along we get in the series, the closer we get to one quarter pi. So let's try this out. Come over here. We put in G++, then the name of our source file, minus L, TBB, which tells it to link in the, the threading building blocks library. And I'm going to call my output pi. And it compiled. So let's go ahead and run it. And we can see it calculated pi for us. Okay, now let's take a look at the code. Um, when we installed threading building blocks, the installer set up the include path for us. So we can up here include tbb slash tbb.h and tbb slash anything else that's, that's in the threading building box library. Um, here we're doing a parallel reduction and I'm going to calculate the, the digits of pi and what I'm going to use here is the Leibniz formula. Let me switch over to the browser here. Uh, the Leibniz formula is just a series summation of 1 minus 1 third plus 1 fifth minus 1 seventh on and on and that gives us pi over 4 and that's what we're doing in here. Now we're doing a parallel reduction so we're breaking it up into chunks and since each each uh, uh, term within that series does not rely on the value of the previous term we can easily make this into a parallel function so we call parallel reduce and we pass in this class that I created in here is the meat of it we do a for loop at the beginning to the end of that chunk that was passed in and we go ahead and calculate the de denominator which is uh, our our index times 2 plus 1 and we check if it's even or odd and decide whether to make it a plus or minus and we add it to the current sum and then we've got a join function that pulls together all the chunks and one by one adds the summation from one chunk to the summation of the current chunk and as those um, accumulate we will end up with our final value which is one quarter the value of pi. So at the end we go ahead and multiply that by 4 and we get the value of pi. Now finally I just want to mention that there's uh, more to tbb. If we do sudo apt cache search tbb we can see that there's a few other things that we can install. There's documentation. Uh, if we want only the runtime files we can go that route and there's also debugging symbols as well as several example files. I encourage you to take a look at the example files because they can really help out. And of course, take a look at the threadingbuildingblocks.org website as well as our own Go Parallel site.